Okay guys, so in today's video, we're gonna be taking a quick look at selling your code. Now this video is not gonna be a video on how to do it. So like here you have a file, I will put it in this Gumroad account and sell it and images and stuff like that. This is more gonna be the, just a general talk about when do I think code is ready to be sold? Because it, it's a difficult question and I, I can't answer the question, but I will just give you my thoughts on it. So it's a very difficult question because let's say you are building a brand and you want your brand of course to get more well known, but if you charge for all of your services, then how are people going to get to know you? So if you are building a brand, which I assume most people are doing if they're selling something on the internet, then you want to give something away for free to get people into your product. Unless you have something like really, really amazing product. And I know we all think that our code is really, really amazing. But you know, look at the competitors. There's so much stuff that's being offered for free. So it's actually difficult to take money for something. I, I don't feel like you can take money for something, which you know that you can go out and get for free. So make sure to put a lot of effort and time into the product you're going to be selling. Don't rush something. Don't put it out just because you can. Really think about it and really make sure that it is a good quality product. Now I'm on Gumroad right here, which is a place you can sell your stuff. And one of the reasons why I made this video is also because I kind of want to promote that I have a Gumroad account and I will be putting products on here. And if you want to get notified, then put in your email down here and hit the subscribe button. Then I assume Gumroad will go ahead and notify you whenever I release a product. But let's get back to the video here. So you can see I've offered a lot of code for free which I'm completely okay with. But when does it, you know, become too much free stuff? You know, I, I don't know if there can be too much free stuff and open source stuff. I love open source and free stuff. But, you know, when you think about something like Ubuntu, think about the amount of time that that has taken. And it's just free. And, and like, there's so much good value that's for free. You know, all this code here is for free. This has taken me so many hours. You know, if I if I would have spent my time at a job and working all these hours, I would have made probably thousands. But like, maybe a thousand. Let's not be over. Well, no, actually thousands. <laughs> it has taken me quite a long time to create this list here. Just thinking about it, like, you know, just think about it. You know, it, it's, 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 yeah. yeah. It's, it's difficult. It's difficult. And, um, you know, when do you charge money for your products? And um, I think you can charge money for a product once you have taken your time. And you will have to define that when have you taken your time. You know when you haven't taken your time, but you, you also do know when you've taken your time. I don't think there's any of these individual products which I've spent enough time on to actually sell them. But maybe all of the time together, if I focused on one app, that could have been something that would have been worth it. But um, you know, there, there's also the other thing if you have a brand or a YouTube channel, you sometimes you make products essentially just to support you and your fans are just going to buy it because, well, you made it and that's nice. But if you're a very small YouTuber like me or you're just getting started, well, you don't really have that big of a fan base. That means that you can't really go ahead and just sell something, which is, you know, fine. And, you know, it, it, it is difficult to get in, you know, actually earning some money, even though you put a lot of effort in something. So just maybe when you go ahead and actually want to make a career online, don't focus too much on the money side of it because it's not going to be worth it in the beginning. See it more as a future investment. But to get back to the whole Gumroad thing here, another really cool thing, if you want your fans to go ahead and purchase your stuff, then I would actually go ahead and recommend to make it free or on Gumroad is going to be pay what you want. So it's a model where people can pay $5, they can get it for free, or they can also pay $100 if they want. But that just means that if they don't have any money, then they can go ahead and download it for free. Or maybe they they don't have any money now, but they download the product for free and they see it's so much worth it and they really enjoy it. And then they actually go ahead and pay for it. So I think that's a really nice model. And I think that's the model I'm going to be going with. Now, of course, all this stuff here, all the code here is MIT. So that means that if you use any of the code, you have to credit me. And in some situations, you just cannot do that. So for that case, you would you know, either have to contact me or, you know, do something like a paid license, which, you know, could also be a way of making money, you know, offer your code away for free. But if people want to maybe resell it, you could make some kind of license that just made sure that people could still take a look at the code, get inspired by it, but couldn't like do too much other than that. You know, they could use it in their own personal products, but for commercial and for not having credits and all that, you could charge money for that part. But, you know, I don't want to get too much into it. And I want this video to be just quick and basic. And I would really like to make a version two of this because Honestly, I don't know too much about this topic, but I just felt like I wanted to make a video about it 
since I am actually, you know, making this Gumroad account. And at some point when I get a quality product, I will go ahead and put it up here. And then I will set it to pay what you want. And then you guys can go ahead and pay what you want. And I don't know how that's going to go. But if you're interested in seeing that whole process, then please comment down below that you want to see that whole process. And then I'll prioritize it a bit more, making that product or products and put it up here. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. If you want to see more of my videos, I have included two videos right here. And hopefully I see you in the next one.